Chiqui, chiqui. My name is Rodrigo Salsas. Uh, I'm French Mexican. I've been living in uh, Playa del Carmen for six years now. Uh, originally, I come from scuba diving. Uh, I was a scuba diving instructor and I was really interested in uh, Playa del Carmen for the sea diving and for the cenotes as well. The diving in Playa is, is good. The diving in Cozumel is actually a little step above. Uh, the reefs are pretty amazing, visibility is really good, cool. drift dives, many animals everywhere, so that's pretty cool. The attraction of Cozumel is the wall itself, because uh, in, in Cozumel we have a wall that starts depending on the dive site now, but from 10 20 meters depth and that goes down all the way to 200, 300 meters depth. You're just flying next to a wall above nothing. It's like you're flying. I've been diving a lot every day and almost every day you have a surprise on the water, you know, or if it's not every day, it's uh, every week, there's something you've never saw before, or maybe you saw it once or twice and you've been diving here for like three, four years and still there are stuff that surprises you and that's another part of uh, the job around it's re that's really cool about. <laughs> The wreck is a mine sweeper that was sunk uh, in 2000 for uh, recreational diving, so it's been depolluted. Uh, so scuba divers could go there and just enjoy the enjoy the sight of, of the of the wreck. Uh, there's a few more around. There's one in Cancun and one in Puerto Morelos, who's just barely less than an hour from Playa, who's pretty cool as well. Cozumel, there's a little submarine for tourists and go check out uh, underwater and uh, it was the first time I saw it, they came uh, pretty close to the wreck and that was a pretty cool experience as well to see that. The geology of uh, Yucatan uh, made uh, that there is no surface rivers. All the rivers, all the water in Yucatan is under the ground. And the cenote is an opening to these underground rivers. Kinha is one cenote that is uh, uh, pretty much of a cave. So you get in there with some stairs, you, you gotta walk down a few meters, and then you see there's a platform with the water. Because there are a couple of holes on top, the sunlight gets into the, those holes and just uh, you have those beams of light that go into the water and the water is super clear and going inside the cenote uh, it's uh, it's a really cool uh, really cool place to the cenotes is the fact that these are decorated caves. For a while those, those caves were dry and time enough passed uh, when they were dry uh, to have stalactites and stalagmites and now those caves are flooded and that's not very common. To find caves with decorations, that's not a really common thing.
they say there is between 10,000 and 15,000 cenotes in the whole Yucatan Peninsula. Every cenote is different. Every cenote has its own personality, if you want. For free divers, uh, the cenotes are really cool because first, these are places in the jungle. There is no waves, barely any wind. It's very quiet. So it's very easy to relax before you dive. These places are beautiful, so it's just when you dive in there, you feel really lucky to be free diving there. You get some sceneries that are really from another world, like Cenote Angelita. There is just uh, this cloud with the island and branches coming out of it. Uh, it's completely hallucinating. If you've never been there, it just blows your mind. Just before getting into the sea, the underground river finished into a mangrove. But it's called the cenote, the name is Casa Cenote. It's like a mangrove river if you like. It's a place where fishes come, uh, it's like a nursery for the fish. When you got lucky there's a crocodile there who kind of lives there, it's not always there but it's not very big so it's pretty safe to see it. The water is really clear, so it's very shallow. We have maximum 10 meters depth at some points. There's a visual effect of the mangrove itself on the water because there are so many branches getting inside the water. There are swim throughs, there are little passages, there's a little crack which you can swim. The light is always around. It's a place with a lot of life and it's very photogenic. <laughs> I don't wanna go back home